Donatella is curious about the collection of women's shoes. However, she prefers a more traditional date. After exchanging phone numbers, they meet up to go out together a few hours later. While Donatella is choosing what to wear, she can't stop thinking about why Hugh was looking at her legs from his balcony and why he has a collection of women's shoes. How many does he have? What does he want them for? He's a strange boy, but very handsome, she says. It doesn't matter. We'll have a date tonight, he'll take me out to dinner, and we'll take a walk on the beach. Maybe then I can ask him about that collection of shoes. Or I could ask him now, she says. I can call him right now. Or at least I can text him and send him a message on WhatsApp or Telegram. I need to know why he has those shoes, and he says they're too small. He can't even wear them because they're not his size. I need to know that answer now, she says. She immediately grabs her smartphone and searches her neighbor's username on WhatsApp. What should I write to him? She asks herself. Hi Hugh. I'm sorry but I need to know why you have that collection of women's shoes. Send. The young woman stares at the screen waiting for a quick response that doesn't come. She doesn't dare call. She thinks that sooner or later he will read the message. Finally she puts her smartphone down and concentrates on her outfit. She constantly checks for new notifications. Nothing, none of them are from Hugh. Two hours later she receives a response, but it's not what she expected. To find out you should have chosen the other option. Get dressed. I'm leaving in a few minutes. Shit, she says when she reads that response. He doesn't want to tell me. It must be a strange way of torturing me. Now he knows that I will spend the date wanting to know the answer. The two of them arrive at the girl's door at the time they had agreed. I need to know, she says. What are you doing with those shoes? How many do you have? Whose were they? Do you sniff them or caress them or something like that? Hugh looks at her calmly without answering. Finally he tells her what she already knows. She should have chosen the other option. That night they will have a delicious date without talking about it. Donatella nods. After all, it is what she has chosen because it is what she wants. Hugh shows her different places in his city. He takes her to dinner at that restaurant he told her about. And finally they go to the beach, which is very close. When they get there he asks her to take off her shoes. He wants to take a walk along the shore. And he also wants to see her bare feet and her toes. I need to know, she says while taking the sandals that were on her feet in her hands. Please, Hugh. They were my previous girlfriends, he says. We lived together in that apartment. She liked to play with her feet, her nylons, her shoes. She taught me everything I know about foot fetishism. One day she left me. She left without saying anything. She left only 10 pairs of high heel sandals and 6 pairs of flats. Donatella listens to him in silence. I'm sorry, she says after a few seconds of hesitation. Don't worry, he says, that was three years ago. I'm over it. And why do you keep them, she asks. I feel sorry to throw them away. They're very pretty, says Hugh. I've always hoped to meet someone who would want them. Maybe they'll be your size, he adds. Would you like to see them? Donatella nods. She wipes the sand off her feet as he watches, pleased. Hugh takes Donatella by the hand and they walk to his house. I want you to try on all the pairs of shoes, he tells her. And I want you to show me everything you know about this fetish, she replies. What did you think of this ending? You can go back and change your choice. Maybe a different ending will surprise you. Miss Horny Honey, and I will be waiting for you in a few days with a new story. Kisses, 